All right, as I solve this problem, this is number 10, I believe, from the worksheet. Uh, I want you to keep in mind that we're solving a lot more cubics on this problem than we are quadratics, whereas on the test it'll be more quadratic based. Uh, but there's still some concepts that we can pull away from here. The first thing that I'm going to do, and again, the order in which I does these, the order in which I do these don't matter. I'm going to do the triangle inequality. Normally there are three inequalities that I have to consider, but since I know the longest, I only need to make sure that the two smaller ones are greater than the biggest one, and I know I messed that one up right there. Okay. To solve this, I need to get cubes on one side, variables on one side, numbers on the other. So I'm going to subtract 3x cubed from both sides. Negative 2x cubed plus 2 root 2x cubed. And I'm also going to subtract 2 on both sides. Okay. At this point, I have x cubes on the left and numbers on the right. So I'm going to factor out my x cubed. Or I could divide everything by negative 2. If I divide everything by negative 2, that would give me this. I have to flip the sign. Flipping the sign because I divided by a negative. You don't have to do that, but it does make the answer actually a little more simplified. You'd have to simplify it later if you didn't do it now. I'm going to now factor out an x cubed. So that's 1 minus root 2. Less than 1. To get rid of the parentheses, I need to divide by the parentheses. So x cubed 1 over 1 minus root 2. The question is, what do I have to do with the sign? Technically, this value right here is a negative value. So I divided both sides by a negative. So I need to flip my sign back to a greater than. Okay, when I'm solving inequalities, I know that I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. I don't know how to cube root. So at this point, I change this to an equation. And then I'm going to cube root both sides. So that would give me x equals the cube root of 1 minus 1, or 1 over 1 minus root 2. And on this problem, that is approximately negative 1.34. I'm going to use it approximate because it's easier for me to see on a number line. Okay. But again, that value that I just found, that value shows me where this and this are equal, not where this is greater than this. So I have to figure out where that is. So I'm going to just do, sketch a little number line, put negative 1.34 here, and then test a number on either side of 1.34. If I plug in 0, if I test 0, right, because 0 would be right around here, and I'm going to test it right here, I would get 0 is greater than 1 over 1 minus root 2. And we've already established that that's negative, but you can just type that in your calculator and find out what it is. And that is a true statement. So I know my solutions are this way. So I know x has to be greater than negative 1.34. I'm going to underline this so I know to come back to it later. All right, the next thing I need to do is make sure that all of my sides are greater than 0 or that my sides are positive. So one of my sides is x cubed plus 2 has to be greater than 0 x cubed has to be greater than negative 2. And again, I know how to subtract inequalities, but I don't know how to cube root it, so I immediately change it to an equation. And then I cube root both sides. And that would give me x equals the cube root of negative 2, which is approximately negative 1.2. Time. So again, that number that I just found, this is where this and this are equal. 
but I want to know where is this greater than that. So to discover that, I'm going to sketch a little number line. Put down negative 1.26, and then to figure out where the solutions are, I'm going to test the number. I might test 0, and I'm going to plug that 0 into here, and I get 0 is greater than negative 2. That is a true statement. So therefore, my solutions have to be over here towards 0. And so x has to be greater than negative 1.26. And then I'm going to maybe underline that so I can come back to it later. A third thing that I have to do is I have to make sure that 3x to the third is the longest. Because it told me it was. So that means 3x cubed has to be greater than x cubed plus 2. So I know I can add and subtract when it comes to inequalities, and I can divide inequalities. I don't know how to cube root inequalities. So I get x cubed equals 1. I change into equation. I solve that. But I actually know the cube root of 1 is 1. So I'm going to make my little number line, because I know 1 is when the two are equal. When I plug in a number like 2, I get 8 is greater than 1. That's true. So of course, my solutions are over here. So x has to be greater than 1. Okay, I'm going to underline that so I know to come back to it. And then I'm going to make sure that the other side is bigger than 0. The other side, or the 3x, sorry. That 3x cubed is greater than the other side, which was 2 root 2x cubed. And I'm going to get my variables on one side. So that would be 3x cubed minus 2 root 2x cubed is greater than 0. I'm going to factor out an x cubed. I'm going to divide by that parentheses. So when I get 0 divided by the whole parentheses here, that parentheses is either negative or positive. Some of you might be able to solve this one in your head, and that's totally fine. But I'm going to go ahead and convert it to an equation. I'm going to cube root both sides. Okay, and then I just got to figure out, I know negative 1 works, or is where they're equal, but which side gives me a true solutions? I'm going to test the number 0. And when I plug in 0 here, I get 0 is greater than negative 1. That's true. So I know my solutions are this way. So x is greater than negative 1. And I'm going to underline it. I have now done all four of my tests. So now I have to use those to try to come up with my number line. I always like to start with my most complicated one, but I don't really have any complicated ones. So we'll just kind of work our way backwards, I guess. We'll start with this one. Number one, we got x is greater than negative one. So those are my solutions right now. And then we'll look at this one too. x is greater than zero. Well, not all those are greater than zero. So I'm going to get rid of all those. And then I'm going to go this one. 3x is greater than 1. Not all of my solutions are greater than 1. So I'm going to get rid of those. And then we'll look at this one. x is greater than 0. Well, all of these solutions here, all of these are bigger than 0. And I've already done that one. And then I can do this one. x is greater than negative 1.26. Well, I'm already bigger than 1, so there's no change there. And then this one, this last one, says x is greater than negative 1.34. All those are greater than 1.34. So my solutions are here, which means x has to be greater than 1. And that's your answer.